Uh, Governor, we're going to start with Sandra in Pittsburgh, who writes in, why is career links so slow and hard to get into since it's been changed? How am I ever going to find a job? That's a short question. That is a short question, and it made the show. (laughs) So you get rewarded if you do the short question. Well, (laughs) first off, um, I'm not quite sure why she's experiencing that, because we're doing uh, everything we can to improve service to the customers. Um, And and as written, it's kind of somewhat vague. Mm -hmm. Why was it slow? Were you on the computer? Did you go inside the office? Uh, In in Pittsburgh, we have three offices with regular hours uh, to go to. Now, if there's a lot of people there, it means everybody's looking for a job. That's good. That's uh, a, a good sign. Uh, but you can also um, go and, and look at our career, excuse me, our Center for Workforce Development Systems at uh, cwds.state.pa.us to find a, that location of those area of those offices near you. That's the first place mm-hmm. um, I would go. Um, um, we have there are busy times there. Call in, try to schedule an appointment. Um, the other thing that we have in those offices that we, we do is we offer classes to the individuals who are looking for jobs, um, and you can register for those classes of how to search for the jobs. A lot of times people are searching for jobs, but they have to decide what their skills are to match the jobs, and that's exactly what we're trying to do mm-hmm. is find people who have, you know, what skills do you have for the job, or is there somewhere we can get you training to help you find the jobs that are out there. I can tell you, um, Sandra may, let's assume Sandra is not a welder. There's a lot of welding jobs out there. Uh, let's assume she doesn't have her uh, commercial driver's license. There are a lot of commercial driver's licenses out there. Sometimes it's a matter of getting people the skills they need to find the jobs that are available. Talking about a female welder from Pittsburgh, I'm having a flash dance flashback. <laughs> I want to go ahead and put it, plug a website too, Governor, that your administration just rolled out. It's called right. pacareercoach.org right in line with matching folks to the jobs that are out there and getting them the skills they need to fill the jobs that are out there. And folks can go to pacareercoach.org to do just that. And did you go on and try it? I did, and I I found out that uh, the track for my current career is gone the wrong direction. <laughs> That's what I found out. I was not too pleased. So did you put in your other skills to see, oh, yeah. I better start he looking? He has no other skills. <laughs> but Br- Brad's in the room, Governor. We can't go into that right oh, now. Oh, okay. I am his boss. So. Uh, let's move to Bob. I never knew that. Who write, yeah, that's right. <laughs> Bob writes in from Pennsburg uh, in uh, Montgomery County. Um, and, and I want to say that a lot of people wrote in. Our last show was um, almost a month ago. And so there were a few weeks left before the election, and the voter ID thing was still very high. So a lot of people mm-hmm. wrote in about that. Sure. It's sort of a moot point now because the election is past us. But Bob wrote in to say he believes in the voter ID law. He says it was sound and fair. I want to kind of change his question, though, because we, you know more court challenges are coming on this. For full implementation in 2013, are we going to be as voraciously pursuing this from the administration and state uh, standpoint? Uh, absolutely. I mean— um, there were very few problems with it uh, this time. I walked into my polling place. My polling place uh, where I live is a Democrat area. Uh, the poll workers, some Democrats, some Republicans, they kid me. They kid me. If you got your driver's license with you? It's right here. Show it to you. <laughs> Takes no time at all. Um, what confusion there was had something to do with people who were voting at a polling place for the first time that's exactly when you right. do have to show that's ID. That's exactly right. You do have to show ID if it's the first time you voted at that location. Uh, so that was what was confusing people. But for the people who were had been voted there before, like I voted in mine, I'm sure you voted yours, mm-hmm. it went very, very smoothly. Uh, it, it is not a problem whatsoever. And, you know, it is the law. The court upheld that, uh, the constitutionality of the law. What they changed was the date of implementation uh, on it. That the Supreme Court now has the decision, uh, Supreme Court of Pennsylvania, uh, the, to take the report from uh, Judge Simpson from the Commonwealth Court. I assume they're going to uh, let that go through because they've already ruled it's constitutional, and then we'll just move forward. So uh, in the primary next year, everybody should be ready to have that uh, photo ID ready to go. 